Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig and today from our friends at Graphic 45, we have the beautiful Flower Market Collection. Comes in 12 by 12, 8 by 8. We've got chipboard, we've got flowers, and we've got ephemera. I can't wait to show you what we came up with. Here is a sweet little card that my friend Debbie made. There's lots more to show you, so come back and play with us. So let's take a peek through the 12 by 12 patterned and solids. There's 16 sheets and you're getting two of each. So look at this beautiful green botanical, it's gorgeous. And on the back, the solid. Beautiful little floral print there. And I'm just gonna say there's solids on the back of each one. So this is a beautiful, it's like a stripe with these beautiful lavender butterflies. And another botanical print. This is sort of a peachy salmony color with the beautiful florals. And then a botanical print. And then we've got this beautiful stripe in the blue. It's like a ticking. And then this beautiful blue floral botanical. Uh, rather, botanical, not necessarily floral. All right, now on the 8x8, the theme of the 8x8 is calendar. Okay, so um, we're gonna start off with, there's patterns on one side and then all these wonderful cutouts featuring calendar and months and things like that on the other side. So it starts out with December. So we've got poinsettia here, all right? You get two of those. And then on the back, you've got this beautiful poinsettia, stamps, everything you need to make a really beautiful sort of December card and this December little calendar right here, okay? So all of these are just taking you through the months. Um, what's great about these is you get two of each of those. So you could use, you know, one of these and then the floral on pattern on the back. Or what Debbie did with the cards that I'm gonna be showing you is she paired them beautifully with this set. So this green little floral works perfectly with the December and she used these in some really beautiful ways. So I'm gonna show you all about it. So keep that in mind that we're doing through the months here. So we've got November is the chrysanthemum, gorgeous. Okay, we've got October, cosmos, September, aster. August is the poppy. Larkspur is July. That's my birthday month. Beautiful, I love these patterns. Okay, and then the rose is June. May is the lily, gorgeous. April is the daisy. March is the daffodil. February is the violet. And we've got January is the carnation. So we've taken you throughout all of the months. Let's go back to this beautiful card that Debbie made. First of all, she used the solid salmon on this one. And then she used a little bit of that background paper. She used the large poppy cut out. And then she went to the chipboard. Oops, crash. So we've got our chipboard pieces and I counted, now I can't remember how many they're in here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Yes, that's what I thought. 23 pieces. And she placed those right here and right here. She added a little bit of jute twine. That just goes really beautifully with this collection. She used it several times, so remember that. Um, I thought she did a really beautiful job on this, and it's all ready to go for a beautiful card here. It says March 3rd Tidings. That's so cute for all those great March birthdays out there. So she used it to just to kind of remind you, she used the 12 by 12, the 8 by 8, and the chipboard on this one. Okay, then we've got a sidestep card. So for our side step card, she used the side step card cutting die. So for the side step card, we have the cutting die, which is this big, beautiful plate. This fits through 
um, a big shot, Gemini Junior, anything with a six inch wide opening, this fits through there beautifully. If you don't have a die cutting machine, we also have them with the, um, they're pre already die cut, okay? So there's five cards and five envelopes. And Debbie used the die because she cut her, car, her card from the actual 12 by 12 paper. All right, so let's go through what she used on this. So beautiful. She's got the chipboard on here. Okay, we've got our chipboard pieces with laughter, all these sweet little pieces. And then she used the ephemera and the flowers. Let's take a look at both of those. All right, so for the ephemera, there is 40 assorted different pieces in here. Look at that. Aren't these gorgeous? Look at that. The laser cutting on these, you guys, is just exceptional. Oops. Got a lot of laser cut flowers. All these sort of little greetings. Beautiful. Oh, look at all the little frames. Lots of beautiful botanicals. Look at that rose, that's gorgeous. So lots in here. All right, and now we've got, let's take a look at the flowers. So for the flowers, there are 78 pieces. There you go. All right, so we've got 78 pieces. We've got some of these little spiral flowers. I'm gonna show you how to put these together in a few minutes on another project. We've got butterflies. And we've got all these great pieces for layering flowers. This. And you'll see here, Debbie has some flowers that she actually layered. And I've got some here to show you. A great way to add some dimension to your flowers we have these little flower shaping tools, they're ball tools. And what you would do is, if you want your flowers to curve up, okay, this way, you do it in one direction if you want them to curve down. So the bigger ones, she curved in a sort of downward, so you would put it upside down. And then you can do this just on the palm of your hand. You, you can also do this on like a piece of foam, craft foam, but half the time Debbie and I just grab the ball tools and just use our hand to do these. All right, so now it's kind of concave like that. So for this one, you want it to go, well, this one's not concave. This one's sticking up. So this one will be concaved going down. There we go. See how it's kind of like a cup in this direction? Very, very cute. Now you can take some just regular Cosmic Shimmer Specialist Acrylic Glue. Put that right there. And when you push it down for the glue, see all that dimension right there? When you push that down, it's going to kind of bounce up a little bit. And then we're going to take the little starburst center. Oops. And then we're going to put that right in the center. And that's how Debbie made these. And then she just added the leaves. Isn't that cute? And look at the dimension on that. That's how it would, when you take it out of the envelope, just prop it right up and it stands so pretty. All right. So now let's take a look. Oh, I forgot to mention. Right here she's got some little dazzle greetings right there. And these are... Pastel and Pearls, Tiny Words and Phrases Dazzle Stickers, and they come in all these different finishes. She used this blue pearl, and they're perfect when you don't have a lot of room to add your little greeting, and you just want to put a little something on there. So that is a definite adorable. Now, I have this fantastic book to show you that she made, you guys. Look at this. So we've got on the front here, some of the ephemera. She put a little butterfly ephemera right over the top of another butterfly. So we've got some of those little layered flowers. This little circular flower right here, before we go any farther, I'm gonna show you how to make that. 
So they come in different sizes. Here's the small one. Those are the small ones that Debbie used. I'm gonna use a large one just so you guys can see what's going on here. So the first you're gonna thing that you're gonna do is just take your bone folder and then you're just gonna kind of place it right here and sort of we're pulling it so that it curves a little bit. We just wanna pre-curl this just a little bit. I'm not putting much pressure on it because I don't want to tear it. Just doing it like this. All right, there we go. So it's just got a little bit of a curve to it. And then you're going to take the en this end and we're going to start rolling it. And you know what? The little pokey tool is a really good tool to have when you're doing this, and I forgot to grab it. But we're just going to keep rolling it like this. Roll, roll, roll. Starts off a little flat, and then as you roll, just add a little bit of slack to it. What I'm doing here, I'm just rolling it. Getting bigger. Okay, I'm gonna kinda go a little faster here. And if you want it looser, mine's getting pretty loose. It'll make a bigger flower that way. And then when we get to this end part right here, see that part? We're gonna take a little glue gun. We're just gonna put a little dot of glue right where the flower's gonna sit. We're gonna squish that down right there. I'm just gonna hold it for a second. And the most important thing to get is the center. Glue the center. If you get glue kind of out here or out here, it's not gonna work so well, but if you get glue right on the center, it's holding that little part, and that's gonna keep it from unraveling. Hers are a little tighter than mine, but that's the idea. And then you just glue them right like that. And then of course, these make much larger flowers. All right, so let's get onto this fantastic little book. I'm gonna flip through this and then I'm gonna tell you how to put this together because this is made out of envelopes, you guys. It's like this, just plain envelopes. That's the base of this. So we start off, you've got January, and then there's a little surprise. You've got these sweet little pullouts, these little tags. There's February. See, there's pockets on the sides, and each one of these has two little tags. Now, Debbie told me her thought for this was you could put little photos on here. You could journal events, special events that happened that month. So you've got a little mini sort of keepsake for the year. Now, these little tags are, let me see, I wrote this down. They are five inches by four inches. And then she just took some scissors and she just snipped off the corners, okay? And a nice little way to do that is you fold these in half. Well, you don't actually fold them, you bend them. You don't wanna crease it. And then you just go snip, and that way they're nice and even on each side, all right? And then she added, a, before she snipped those, she added a little border of scrap paper up there and then folded a little scrap right there to make a little pole. Isn't that adorable? She did such a nice job on this. So let's keep flipping through here. She's got her cutouts from the, well, first I should mention, the background paper on these right here is from the 12 by 12. This is the cutout from the eight by eight. And then she's using all these little ephemera pieces as well. And chipboard, ephemera, look at that. Remember, we've got all these little pockets too. Everyone has a pocket with tags. She went ahead and wrote out the days of the on the month for the calendar so sweet at that match the ephemera pieces up it's july it's the poppy once again we've got our tags every month has a pocket and tags september october november and finally we've got our beautiful poinsettias for christmas and december so how do we put this together 
It's so easy. This is so easy to do. I was shocked when she showed me. All right. So we have um, at Hot of the Press, from, from Hot of the Press, we have at Paper Wishes packs of just envelopes, okay? And they are wonderful to have on hand when you're making cards, bases from cardstock. And I always forget to measure these. I think they're like six and a half by seven and a half. Can't find my ruler. But anyway, I'll put the link down below. So this is how Debbie showed me to do this. She's got seven envelopes here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You, they come in packs of 10, 20, so on. You could make this larger, but her book had seven envelopes. So to make the pockets, the easiest thing to do is go ahead and take your paper trimmer and just cut a little bit from the edge or the bottom of each envelope right here. And I'm talking like this is how much we cut off just a tiniest little bit, we cut those off. Paper trimmer makes that easier, but you can just go snip, 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 snip with your scissors as well. But you're looking to cut off just a tiny little bit from each one. All right, so once we have that done, we're gonna open up one envelope. And this envelope is facing up. See what I'm saying? Opening's facing up. Then we're gonna take another envelope. We've got our pocket, prepped here, cut away the bottom edge on all of these. This envelope, we're gonna turn face down, all right? And then we're gonna take a little bit of glue. You don't need a lot of glue because we're putting glue on that little adhesive strip, not adhesive strip, that little gum strip, the thing you lick. <laughs> and we're gonna slide this right in here. And you're putting it in there right where it folds. Okay, so we've got our glued in there. And then you're gonna take your envelope and you're folding it over, All right? And then you can just take your bone folder and fold that. We're gonna do that again. We're gonna take this one, gonna put a little bit of glue. Like I said, we don't need much. Don't go crazy on the glue. We're gonna turn it upside down. Now, we're gonna go back into this right here. And we're going to slide that right in there again. Oh, I wouldn't, I'm supposed to slide it in on top of the first one because you've glued these down. There we go. Okay, so we're sliding that in right on top of the other one. All right, so now we've got one two, and then there's the base one. Let's try that again, because I was a little rough on that one. All right, so we're taking this, we're putting a little bit of glue. Let's just try putting a little bit of glue just at the tip part here. Let's see what that does. We're gonna turn that over. Okay, now I'm opening this up, and I'm just gonna slide that right in there. That was easier. Right there, and then we're folding that over the next one. A little bit of glue. I think it works better when you're not putting it all the way. Turning that over, opening this up, and sliding that in. Now I have to say the more you're getting in here, it is a little trickier, but it's not hard. See? Okay, and then fold that over. Now I notice here that I'm getting a little off Course. So I'm going to square this up on the sides. Make sure my bone folder's there. Okay, we've got another one. A little bit of glue. Turn that over. There we go. Okay, last one. Turn it over, open up the front, and we're gonna stick that in there. There we go. All right, so now we've got all of our little pages here. Now we've got this little flap, that was our first one. 
This one we're going to put lots, well not lots, this one we're going to cover the whole flap with glue. Glued that down. All right. So let's, now our, that's, it's all bound now, you guys. So let's look through this. That's the cover page. Look at that. All bound together. Now, what Debbie did was she took the 12 by 12 paper and she put a rectangle of that, just a little bit smaller than the envelope, and inked the edges of that and glued that down. She also inked the edges of the envelopes. That'd probably be a good thing to do before you glued it all together. All right, and then you glue another piece of paper here and another piece of paper here. All the way through so that these are covered, okay? And then, remember, when you're done, you've got all of these little spaces on the pockets on the right to slide things in. I just can't stand it, it's so cute. All right. So look how easy that was to put together. A lot of inking on the edges. We've got our 12 by 12 paper cut down. We've got our patterned paper, patterned paper on there as well. And then she used the eight by eights for the months and the ephemera and the chipboard to embellish those. So cute. So you guys, I've got one more card. We're gonna try to get through this really quickly because we've taken up a lot of time here. So I did a panel card a couple of weeks ago and you guys liked it so much. And I had requests, so we're gonna do another version of it. So we're gonna start off with a five by six and a half inch card. I scored it, just the card front only, I scored it at two and a half inches, okay? So using my little scoreboard here, opened that up, two and a half inches, score down there, okay? All right, and then, I folded this back, and then I used the 12 by 12 paper, oops, that's not supposed to be there, the 12 by 12, 12 by 12 paper to, I used the 12 by 12 patterned cardstock to do each panel and the back of the card, all right? So now I cut another panel out of white cardstock. All right, so this panel is four and a half inches by five inches. Actually, it's four and a half inches by five and a half inches. All right, so once again, grab my little scoreboard, and I'm gonna score this at four inches, right there. So that gives me this little half inch fold, right there. All right, so I've taken that, here it is, and I've covered it with the patterned cardstock on the front and on the inside. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right along this edge. And I'm gonna place it right there, see there, on the card back. And then I'm gonna fold that forward. Now, with, because we're using glue, that wonderful stuff, we can kind of move it around, get it just where we want it. All right, so that's our card base. Okay, how easy is that? How easy is that? I love easy stuff, you guys. So now we get to decorate it. So what we're gonna do is, on the inside here, we've got some of this amazing lace. This is vintage lace, and this is from Dress My Craft. I don't think any of us have used this yet, so I was really excited to grab it. Little white lace, which is just adorable and perfect for Valentine's too. Little crocheted lace. I don't want to glue that right there. First, I'm just gonna kind of trim it down to a more manageable amount. And I'm gonna glue it so that it just peeks out from my edge of my little panel because it's adorable. There's, there's really no reason for it other than it being adorable. And why else do we do cards? Because they're adorable, right? All right, so I'm gonna let that dry for just a minute and then I'm gonna trim that even with the edges. So while that's kind of drying, we're gonna take some of the chipboard. And I've got that chipboard frame
I'm gonna put that right there. How adorable. And then we've got pieces of ephemera. I loved this piece, you guys, it's gorgeous. We're gonna put that right there along that edge. Beautiful. And then I've got another piece of chipboard right here. It says, believe good things are on the way. Boy, that is such a good sentiment. And I placed a little rainbow flat back pearl. They come in a big bag like this. You'll never need them again. <laughs> There's so many in here. And I put little blue ones on each end. And we're gonna put some glue right here and right here. We're gonna just put that kind of right there so it's just a little bit overlapping that flower there. Okay, and it's also down a little bit because I don't want to like go right into the flowers too much. Make sure that's straight. Now we're going to open this up. And we've got some other pieces here that we can glue on here. I love these beautiful flowers. This is from the ephemera set. And we're going to glue that right there. And then we've got another little piece of ephemera, the little sentiment on it. And this, we wanna make sure that it's right there centered. Love that. All right, so now we're gonna trim this. I just turn it over and trim it from the back. Oops, we're upside down. All right, so now I've got another little piece. I've got this piece right here that I loved. I wasn't sure what to do with it, but I think we're just gonna set that one aside. And we've got this little piece of chipboard. I put another little flat back pearl on that. And we're gonna put that here on this panel. All right, that is adorable. So we're gonna shut this right here and shut that right there. And it's all about the presentation when it's opened up. How beautiful and how easy, right? How easy is that? So you guys, we've got a fantastic money saver on this collection. As you can see, it's super versatile and you can make so many things from it. I love this calendar envelope book that Debbie made. You could use this idea not only for the calendar, but just a beautiful journal. What a great gift this makes. And so you guys, the money saver, it's on the right hand side of the screen. And if you're watching this, oh, also down below the video, all the items are listed individually. So if you just want this or that, you can add it directly into your cart. All the cards and supplies we used are also listed below the video. You just click on those. If you're watching us on YouTube, we haven't forgot about you. Look below the description box and you'll see a link that'll take you to this Paper Wishes webisode page. You'll see everything I mentioned. And hey, a thumbs up really helps people find our channel. We would appreciate that. And subscribe. We do four to five videos a week and we wouldn't want you to miss a thing. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. And I'll see you next time.